is Friday. It is 4 o'clock and I'm doing a little bit of overtime today. I'll be done at 4.45, but I'm just taking a break because my brain is just like too much going on in it. Anyway, look you guys, I finally got a chair and I got it from Ikea and I put it together and it's so much more comfortable, better on my back and I'm just so happy. So yeah, nothing much going on and actually I'm going back to Ikea tonight because let me show you guys my setup here. Okay, so here I have um, my printer and I just have it on my dining room chair right here, but it's just so messy and cluttered. I have things here for work and here's just the ink that I need to refill it with. And then I have stuff under there and things there. So I am actually going to, oh, and here's a little fan when I get too warm over here. So I am going to go to Ikea to get a type of desk that I can set this on and then put the stuff that I need inside drawers. That way I can just set this somewhere else. I'm gonna have to find where to put this chair because normally a chair would go right here, but since I'm in my new computer chair and then, yeah, we'll figure it out. And that stuff right there just needs to go. Good morning, Good morning everyone. I hope you guys can see me. Where are my glasses? Cause it's bright out here. You guys look kind of crooked, I don't know. Anyway. It is Saturday and I'm leaving Walmart. I actually wanted to vlog a little bit before I went in, but as soon as I pulled up and put the camera up there, this guy pulled along the side of me and just sat there and stared at me. And it's like, you know what, mind your business. So I just put the camera away and went in the store. I did go to Ikea last night, Savannah and I did, but I was so mad, they did not have the Come on, guy. They didn't have the desk that I wanted. When I looked on the app yesterday, it said that they had six in stock. And when I got there, I went to the bin where it was and I didn't see anything. So I went and talked to the, um, one of the workers and she said, yeah, it says that we have four in stock. So she said, maybe you're looking in the wrong place. I'm, I know where aisle 26 bin nine is. So she went and she looked and she's like, oh, it must be a, um, glitch in the system or something so they didn't have it there and she said that the next time they're gonna have some more in stock is Wednesday so I can wait till Wednesday but I don't want to it's kind of one of those things that I've been dealing with it all this time but now that I want it <laughs> I want it so I went to Walmart and I actually bought this little nightstand type thing that's gonna be perfect for that area the only thing is it's black and it's probably too dark but y'all know me I can paint anything so if it doesn't look good there then I will just paint it so I did that and I actually worked three hours this morning you guys I got up at five and I worked and that's because on Wednesday Savannah and I had dental appointments and I left early so we can always make up our time which is good so I did this morning that way I won't have to use PTO or anything like that. So I just did billing and I did billing the whole three hours and I'm still behind because it's just a lot that we have to do. So I'm going to go home and put this together and then probably fall asleep <laughs> since I got up so early. I was up at 4.45 to clock in at five o'clock. So yeah, I'm tired. Okay. Look at all these separate parts, you guys. Maybe I should have waited for the one from Ikea, <laughs> but I can do this. All right, you guys, I'm not done at all, but this is definitely more work than Ikea furniture, at least more work than any Ikea furniture that I put together. I've already been at this probably about an hour. I'm tired.
Okay, putting this together was a booger. It took way too long. I probably should have waited for the Ikea one. Here's the setup. It's much cleaner in here now. I cleaned all that up and took it away and brought what we needed to Goodwill. So yeah, and I know it looks really dark in here and it looks dark on the camera, but it's not as dark as what I thought. My tabletop is lighter, yes, but it's not that bad. And have my printer up here, box of Kleenex right there, and I have stuff that I need in the drawer. And the printer paper I'm going to keep right there and there. If you guys can see that, it's dark in there, but my little fan. And then that's just my calendar that I keep track of the days that I go into the office. And I have to show you guys like this because I can't show you the front of my computer. Even though it's not on, I still have sticky notes that pertain to my job. So I put the chair that would normally go there, right there. And I'm gonna get some pillows to put on it. That matches the area, of course. And this is the back of my setup. <laughs> I have my laptop on this little riser thing. And then I have um, my old monitor and I have a little connection in there. And that's how I have two screens. And yeah, you guys, it is messing with the flow of my dining room. But the reason why I, I have it here, and we do have an extra bedroom, Tariq's old room, but that has become like the storage room right now. And it's not junky, but it's cluttered with stuff that um, the girls don't want in their room anymore or stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, they see a free room and they move into it. That's supposed to be my time, my time to do whatever I want to the room. I was actually going to change it to a filming room, but I changed my mind because of my reading corner. I'm just gonna use that as my filming area. So when Cheyenne finally does move out and takes her stuff out, cause she bought a lot of stuff for when she moves, that way she can already have stuff in her apartment, which I don't know when it's going to be, but it'll be soon. Then that way I could probably, actually if she moves out, I can have her, no, I don't know. But Tyreek's room has that little area, like a desk type thing. And I can just turn that into my office. So yeah, if she ever goes, <laughs> then that will be my new place for my, um, my work. Even though I know the boss keeps saying that eventually we are all going to be back in the office. My manager, I think I told you guys this, is trying to get her to be like, we can still stay home like part-time like we are now. I only go into the office two days a week and those days vary, I think I told you guys. And then the rest of the time, we are all at home. And my boss, <laughs> no, my manager, she comes once a week or once every other week. So I, she's enjoying her time home as well. And my job is not hard, <clears throat> I love it, but I'd rather do it here at home. I actually get more work done at home than I do at the job because of all the distractions and even though Yes, there's not a lot of us there. We all can't be there at once unless we're having like a team meeting. But still, I get more work done here at home. Don't know if I showed you guys. I'm wearing my Winchester Mystery House t-shirt today and I absolutely love it. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna make me something to eat. And I don't know, watch a movie. Oh, so what I decided to do is not this pillow, of course, but I am going to get a pillow and just set it on there. That way this can have some kind of decoration on it or something um, for the time being. And then if and when we do go back into the office, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the pillow later. But see my shot glass case holder? <laughs> I'm going to get another one just like that and put it right there. So then that way it could be matching. So. Yeah, you guys, you guys have seen my dining room before, but I'm still in love with it. It gives me like warm feeling, even though that over there is kind of cluttered, not as cluttered as it was before. It looks a whole lot better. It's still, I still love it. Yeah, I do. And I think that's why I'm not complaining about sitting here because I love this dining room. Oh, and I bought a trash can right there. That way I can throw things away here. And then when I'm done for today, I'll just dump it in the bigger trash can so yeah and oh I don't think I showed you guys my full chair my full chair yeah it's cute it's not 
huge and big. It's perfect for the space. So, yeah, I love it. And here is my jacket that I put on in the mornings. You guys have seen me with this on because um, it gets a little chilly out here when I wake up. So, good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. And as you can see, I'm at home. I'm about to start my work day. I haven't clocked on just yet. But, yeah, it's super early. And I'm excited today because I have the gardener outside in the backyard. They are cleaning up and cutting my backyard, and I will show you guys later once it's done. And then, I don't know if some of you remember, but last year, like, doing a shutdown, I had them, like, kill the grass on certain areas of my house, and then I had them put that red wood chips out there. Well, Boston, because Boston's a princess, he rather goes potty on those red wood chips instead of in the grass. So we tried doing everything to get him to stay out of it. I tried putting stuff down that, you know, I guess dogs and animals don't like the smell. Nothing is working. So I actually went to Home Depot the other day and I bought some garden gates, but they're tall enough where he can't jump over because he's lazy <laughs> and he won't jump over it. And I'm going to put that up once they leave on one side and then I will calculate and see how many I need to go back and get today. But yeah, they're outside doing that. They're just getting started. He came to give me an estimate last night and he said, can we start first thing in the morning? And it's perfect because I'm working from home today. Even though he could have done it if I wasn't here, I like to be here that way when he's done, I can pay him and he doesn't have to come back. Anyway, so yeah. Guys, I'm so excited because it's taken me forever. And you guys know me, the ones who have been here a while. I'm a procrastinator and when you guys give me like suggestions on movies and stuff like that and I say I'm going to check it out. Oh, trust me, I will check it out eventually, but I'll do it on the shell time. Well, I've been talking about getting another camera for so long and I am filming with my um, Canon G7X, but I'm so behind. I know people have moved on to bigger and better cameras, but I finally got the G7X Mark II and I know Melissa's been sending me well, she sent me like a website before where I can get like this bundle package or whatever and I should have jumped on it at the time so I finally did it and I will be doing an unboxing video that's going to be separate even though it's old news it's new to me so you guys are going to get a separate video for that anyway what time is it I better clock on and start working Okay, so the backyard is completely cut. You guys, this looked horrible. It was probably as tall as me. And these gate right here, this fence, I'm actually putting that up. I'm gonna have to finish. I got some more at Home Depot today, but they fixed it where, cause Boston went, he would go to the bathroom here and he would kick it out the way and that tarp thing underneath was showing, but they fixed it, cleaned it up on both sides so I am going to continue installing this and it's not that hard but it just takes a little time so let me do that and I'll show you guys the finished okay, product you guys it's actually the next day and I finished putting this up really late yesterday so I wasn't able to show you guys but I will show you how I have everything set up so as you can see the rug is new but this black gate right here and because it's not measured perfectly i had to you know put it at a weird angle and you guys can see it better like right here i just got this little flower pinwheel type thing so i think that's cute and right here i got some sunflowers and then this right here i put it over there i know it's in a weird angle but right over there is where the brick start so i was not able to put the stake in the ground so i actually had to you know just put it like that so yeah and he tried to go in it yesterday and he bumped his head here and was like what's going on so yeah you guys this is next I know I said that last time but it's an expensive fix so I'm gonna have to figure out something cuz my backyard is big but I just wanted to be nicer because it can be very nice so yeah that's the rug that i got from hobby lobby oh and i got that pinwheel i think that's what you call it and a little sunflower metal thing hey from hobby lobby Today as well it's thursday i'm off work and of course the minute i pull out my camera everyone wants to come out of the building 
and everyone that wants to park by me. Anyway, I'm not at home. I am actually at my doctor's appointment. I'm going to get my blood drawn because you guys know I do that every so often. I don't know if I told you guys, but Savannah actually has her permit and she's learning to drive so in her high school parking lot which is the same place I took Shine and Tyreek for them to practice and she actually drove on the street one time as well so yeah she finally got her permit and yeah what's up with these kids nowadays this generation you gotta make them drive I mean when I turned 16 it was like a rite of passage and you know everyone was excited to drive and get their driver's license nowadays you know because everything is at their fingertips in uber and whatever like that that they don't drive as soon as they normally would how do you guys feel about the vaccine so let me give you a little backstory so my mom is a retired nurse right and she has told me stories about how when parents don't get their kids vaccinated how sick they get stuff like that the diseases you can get from not being vaccinated so i grew up strongly believing in vaccinating your kids that's just me uh, now that we have a vaccine for the virus i think it's a wonderful thing and I am going to get it eventually. I'm going to wait a little bit because I just feel more comfortable waiting. My mom actually is getting her second dose next week, I believe, which I think is a good thing because she is older. I think everyone should get it. Of course, you know, you can't force anyone or whatever, but I don't know. In the past, vaccines have been developed through a series of steps that they took years to, you know, get it right. and. I get that it's urgent for us to have this, whatever, but they just started on it last year. So I'm not too comfortable with getting it right now. And of course you hear all the horror stories and you know, about it's killing people. And then I even heard stories of that it's trying to get rid of people of color and stuff like that. You know, people that have taken a shot and within days or within 30 minutes or whatever like that, you know, they die and you know, can't believe everything the media says number one number two I talked to my mom because she is a nurse and you know she says sometimes people do have allergies to the ingredients inside you know some vaccines so that could play a role in the reason why some people have an allergic reaction or um, have passed away I don't know but I don't know you guys I firmly believe in getting it I am going to get it but I would feel more comfortable eating a little while longer I know some of you have already gotten the vaccine and that's great and I hope you guys have not had any symptoms or anything like that as far as you know I like said it feels like your arm has been hit with a bat you know after you had it so you know but it's going intermuscular it's going into your muscle so of course it would probably you know feel sore yeah you guys what do you feel about the vaccine and are you going to get it do you plan on getting it are you gonna wait like me I'm not gonna wait that much longer but I just want to I just want to wait a little bit longer I don't think I showed you guys this but I ended up getting another one of these Nutra bullets I had one a long time ago it was smaller but the little things in there broke so I wasn't able to use it anymore and so I just got this because we do have a blender and the lid is broken but we don't use it that often but I figured this would be convenient because even when we do blend smoothies or stuff like that it's not the size of a full blender so this is perfect and I don't remember if I showed you guys this or not if I did when I'm editing this video I'll take out one of these clips but I did get some solar lights for my backyard i got two boxes actually and it does have rechargeable batteries in it but it also runs by solar so there's a big solar panel and i do have the lights on the gate right now it says for the best use to let the solar panel like charge from the sun for three days let me show you guys it's really bright out here let's see Okay, I had to figure out the settings on this camera because it was way too bright and I'm still figuring it out. But see how the solar, the solar panels are really huge. So just have, just have to let them soak up the sun. And see, I have the lights on the gate here all along there. Hey, Boston. And then the solar panel is right there. And this is just the connector right here. But I'm not connected it yet because that's what the 
instruction says don't connect it until it's fully charged so yeah hey Boston ready to come in okay Savannah helped me figure out the settings on this camera but I know I showed you guys this earlier but now that you guys can see now that the settings are better I put the lights all along here and no I don't I'm in my pajamas girl snapping pictures of me she's taking pictures of me with her camera and then as you guys can see the light is there so I'm so I'm just waiting on dinner which um I made for me jalapeno poppers and then I have this salmon but it's like honey chipotle salmon or whatever and you know Savannah doesn't eat any of that so she's having her vegan dinner whenever she gets ready to eat but last night for the well I've seen coming to America before and you guys know how there's a two and I still have not seen it so Savannah and I watched the first one and that was her first time seeing it so tonight we're gonna watch the second one hey Boston that's where he waits because he's not allowed in the kitchen and he knows better but usually he tries to sneak in anyway so yeah just waiting on at that and did you get him his cookies no oh he has some cookies that i swear we probably could eat because it smells so good and it looks just like regular cookies these are his right here they smell so good and look they look like regular cookies you guys and he loves these boston boston want a cookie yeah really okay you guys so the lights are on i decided to plug them even i think it's super cute look at that and savannah's over there taking pictures <laughs> what are you doing i like the lights mm -hmm. 